the, the charges, sir. I'll hear them again. My lord, His Majesty's court contends that the defendants, Mary Reed and Anne Bonney, did piratically, feloniously, and in an hostile manner attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Secondly, this court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops, thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Edward James Kenway, born of motley parentage in Swansea, to an English father and Welsh mother, married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastard, Alf. Quite a surprise finding you here rotting in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay for a time, but this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny! are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, dead! Oh, Ross! May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls! We're pregnant! Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? Plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed, but only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duff the next time you come knocking. Remove them! Philip, Ken Moore, Conway. It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, gotta make sure he suffers without dying. Orders from the governor. And back to the prisons at sundown. And massage his feet if he's aching, shall I? Ah! Quiet, you! Come on, get out of there, Edward. Oi! Quiet! Quiet! Good morning, Captain Kenway. I have a gift for you. Hero. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for Anne and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. <sighs> but if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry. This place is certainly heavily guarded. There's no way I can take this bell tower out with
shit, that guy's coming back. That was extremely lucky, I'll admit that one. What's all the clatter? Ah! Ah! Hold you! The bastard's running! I was lucky. Let's see if we can get some more sleep darts off these guys. Being way too risky here at the moment. Really, I need to get it work. Maybe he has friends looking out for him. Hey! Out of the bush, you! Still have no idea how I didn't get caught then. You weren't much of a friend, Jack Rackham, nor an able sailor, neither. But you were strange and lively. And you made me laugh more than once. And that's enough to make me sorry for seeing you like this. I hope you found a lasting peace down there among the dead. There's 
no other old friends around here. Must be on the other side. Down there. What a joke! Kept in silent. Need to get up there. There we are. God, it wasn't doing it for a while then. As the way in. Don't stop and talk to your friends, mate. All three of you will perish now anyway. And that's me out sleep that, so I could do picking one or two up off these guys now. Not getting any. Oh. 
in theory, all I need, this guy's gonna walk closer to me now, I imagine. I can take it, oh, there we are, actually. Hi. Emergency action of smoke bombs was needed. Let these two guys fight it out. That guy absolutely destroyed. Not letting him get that gun shot off. One sleep that. Here we go, it's pulling back with the whistling. Now oh, you stay there. DL should have been more cautious there. Whistling did no effect again. He ain't gonna turn around. Just had a child, and she's 
Mary, it's me, Edward. Edward? Who's this fella? It's all right, Anne. He's a friend. What's wrong with Mary? She's ill. And her child? They took her. No idea where. Oh! 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 I know it pains, my lady, but we must be silent. Can you walk? Oh! Oh! Lean on me, Mary. Come on. I can't. Search every cell. Come on, that's it. You're all right. Can't go any faster than this, by the way. I'm literally dragging her along. Don't die on my account. Go. This is such a pain in the ass. Damn it. You should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? If you came with me, I could. Mary. Fortunately, I've cleared most of the way. Get to dry again. Grab this manuscript quickly. to Mary. What's wrong? Is she gone? Oh no. Oh God! Oh. What will you do now? Nothing sensible.
You haven't earned this, but... They suit you. Good fortune to you, Edward Kenway. See some color first. Will this do? In all your years out here, you could never achieve what I've done in one fifth the time. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. That's my prize, Roberts. I'll give it here! Remember my creed, boy. A short life and a merry one, that is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. So take what you will, and then die before you live to see yourself made a fool. Give it here. That's right, boy, take it. I'll sweet it, you maggot. I'll cut you down! Oh, oh. Calm, little puppy, and slink back to your kennel. You haven't the metal for my brand of madness. Robert! Welcome aboard, Kenway. It's prizes, plunder, and adventure ahead. Are you game? Out of my way, Ben. Raise a glass to freedom, lads. Here's to gentlemen of fortune and women of leisure. To a world full of rogues better than all the kings and queens that kick us about. As gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. What man with a sensible mind would choose the former life? For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find tis better to be a commander than a common man! Edward don't care about no sharks. Uh, maybe he does now.
Well, that's a new loading screen. Edward is out of it. Captain Kenway! You look like a bowl of plumbed off. Christ! Oh, I've got a head for ten. On your feet! You put me on the spot, Addy. After leaving me with Robert, I should have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly I'm bloody glad. <laughs> me too, brother. And you'll be chuffed to know your jackdaw is still in one piece. So we set sail. You're leaving. I, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. Ade, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then 